The information here is for your protection, never for exploitation. Our goal is to arm you with knowledge so you can navigate the digital world with confidence and caution. Tracking someone's phone without their consent is illegal and dangerous. It's a violation of privacy and can have serious legal consequences, not to mention the emotional harm it can cause. We're exposing these methods so you can defend yourself, not use them against others. Understanding how these tactics work is the first step in building your own defenses. Tracking a cell phone can be shockingly simple. With just a few clicks, someone could pinpoint your location or access your private information. Your phone is powerful, so is your ability to secure it. Stay alert, stay informed, and never underestimate the value of your privacy. Remember, this is about empowerment, not exploitation. Use what you learn to protect, not to harm. Why would someone track a cell phone? It's a question that delves into the complexities of human behavior and technology. The reasons are as varied as people themselves. From the curious to the cautious, each individual has their own story. Sometimes, it's misguided concern. A parent checking on a teen or an employer monitoring staff. They believe they're acting in the best interest of others. But these actions can quickly cross into illegal surveillance, blurring the lines between care and control. Then there are criminals, tracking victims for robbery, kidnapping, or extortion. For them, technology is a tool for exploitation. Corporate spies may track rivals to steal secrets or anticipate moves. In the world of business, information is power. At the state level, governments use tracking for security, but also to monitor dissidents and journalists. This raises ethical questions about privacy. The line between protection and oppression is thin and often debated in the public sphere. And then there's stalking, abusive ex-partners or obsessed strangers using tracking as a tool of control. It's a violation of personal space and safety. For victims, the psychological toll is immense. The feeling of being watched can be paralyzing. Tracking technology can turn a device meant for connection into a digital leash, restricting freedom and autonomy. The motives range from concern to control, but the impact is always serious. It's a reminder of the dual nature of technology. Understanding these motives helps you recognize the risks. Knowledge is power in the digital age. Awareness is your first defense. By staying informed, you can protect yourself and your loved ones. Let's look at how tracking actually happens. It's a complex process that involves both technology and intent. Think your phone is private? Think again. Hackers can find your location in seconds. Public Wi-Fi is a common trap. Fake hotspots lure you in, then intercept your data and location. Once connected, your privacy is gone. Another method, your phone number. Data brokers sell your location, often sourced from apps you've given permission to without a second thought. That weather or game app? It might be selling your movements. Hackers don't need to break in, they just buy the data you gave away. Most of us never read the fine print. If you're not the customer, you're the product. Your digital footprint is everywhere. Tracking can be as easy as a click or a purchase. Stay cautious with networks and app permissions. Your privacy depends on it. The most common weapon in a hacker's arsenal isn't sophisticated code or advanced technology. It's simple deception. Instead of breaking through firewalls, hackers often break through your trust, using psychological tricks to manipulate you into giving up your own information. Phishing is a classic example. It's a scam that tricks you into handing over sensitive details, like your passwords or credit card numbers, without you even realizing it. You might get an urgent email or text. Maybe it claims to be from your bank, a delivery service, or even a coworker. The message is designed to create panic or urgency, making you act before you think. It pushes you to click a link, which leads to a fake website that looks almost identical to the real thing. You're asked to enter your credentials, and just like that, your data is in the wrong hands. In a matter of seconds, your personal information can be stolen and misused, often without you noticing until it's too late. Hackers make these scams convincing by using real company logos, your personal details, and even referencing your recent activity or transactions. They study their targets to make their messages believable. This is called spear phishing, highly targeted, personalized, and extremely convincing. The best defense against these attacks? Healthy skepticism and a cautious mindset. Always scrutinize every unsolicited message, especially those that contain links or ask for personal information. If something feels off, trust your instincts. Check the sender's email address carefully. Look for subtle misspellings, extra characters, or anything unusual that might indicate a fake. Never click on suspicious links. 
Instead, go directly to the official website by typing the address yourself, or use the official app to log in securely. If you're ever unsure, call the company using a verified phone number from their official website, not the number provided in the suspicious message. Taking just a few seconds to pause and think before you act can save you from a world of trouble and potential disaster. Social engineering attacks prey on your trust and your willingness to help or respond quickly. Don't give away your trust easily. Question everything and stay alert. Remember, your vigilance is your strongest shield against these threats. Stay cautious, stay informed, and protect yourself online. Hackers don't just trick you. They can hijack your phone with spyware. Spyware runs silently, recording calls, logging keystrokes, stealing photos, and tracking your location. It often sneaks in through unofficial app stores or free versions of paid apps. Ignore security warnings, and you might install more than you bargained for. Phishing can also deliver spyware disguised as a security update. Even official app stores aren't immune. Some apps ask for excessive permissions. Why does a flashlight app need your location? Review app permissions before installing. Delete apps you don't use or trust. Excessive permissions are a red flag. If it seems suspicious, it probably is. Protect your device by being selective and cautious. Now, let's get technical. SS7 is the backbone of global mobile networks, and it's old, with serious vulnerabilities. Hackers who access SS7 can silently track your phone, intercept calls, and steal texts, including two-factor codes. You'll never know it's happening. This isn't just theory. Intelligence agencies and criminals have used it. The fix is up to telecom companies, not you. For now, be aware. Some threats are out of your hands. Demand better security from your providers. Now, what can you actually do? Most attacks rely on user mistakes, so let's close those gaps. Keep your phone and apps updated. Security patches matter. Enable automatic updates. Use strong, unique passwords everywhere. A password manager can help. Be suspicious of unsolicited links and attachments, no matter the source. Verify before you click. Review your apps. Delete what you don't use. Check and limit app permissions. Does a game need your microphone? Probably not. Fewer apps mean fewer vulnerabilities. Think before you install or grant access. Your privacy is worth the effort. Small habits make a big difference. Security is ongoing. Make it a routine. Stay proactive, not reactive. You're your own best defense. Ready to level up? Start with two-factor authentication. Enable it everywhere. Use authenticator apps, not just SMS for extra security. Your email is the key to everything. Protect it like gold. Next, use a VPN, especially on public Wi-Fi. VPNs encrypt your traffic, blocking hackers and snoops. It's a simple way to neutralize man-in-the-middle attacks. Be careful what you share online. Every post is a clue. Don't broadcast your location or routines. Tighten your social media privacy settings. Your digital footprint is permanent. Control it. Combine technical tools with smart habits. Security is both mindset and method. Make it part of your daily life. The digital world is risky, but you're not powerless. Most attacks exploit human error, carelessness, weak passwords, or a hasty click. The good news? You control those factors. Stay informed, skeptical, and practice good digital hygiene. Security isn't a one-time fix, it's a habit. Update your software, review permissions, and change passwords after breaches. Read up on new scams and threats. This isn't paranoia, it's smart citizenship. Your best defense is your own awareness. No software can replace a cautious user. We've given you the knowledge, now put it into practice. Be safe, be smart, and stay alert.